my family, for a very, very long time, the UK tablets have been trying to find a way to gain access to Prince Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lilibet. You know that. For a very long time, UK tablets have been trying to find out details about Harry and Meghan's private lives in Montecito. For example, they want to know where do Harry and Meghan hang out and chill out when they are in Montecito. Whether it's playing polo, my family, they want to find out if Harry and Meghan spend most of the time there or where is it they go to when they want to chill out? Or do they just stay at home? Also, UK media have wanted to find out if even locals have seen Harry Megan walking around Montezito. Also, UK media have wanted to know that. And of course, when asking people questions about Harry Megan, because they have gone to ask people in Montecito who don't even live next to Harry Megan questions about Harry Megan. And one such person that UK media have asked questions about Harry and Megan's lives in Montecito. Is someone called Barry Maher. Now, Barry is a writer, a speaker, you know, and also a compiler of free monthly overlooked newsletters. At least, my family, that is what he said in his profile. Now, Barry was asked questions by a UK tablet. Questions, for example, if neighbors are happy, you know, that Harry and Meghan are, you know, living there. And my family, here are some things that Barry Maher told a carnival of so-called experts back in the UK. And of course, as you all know, they are looking for that negative comment. And Wikimedia wrote this as a headline from what Barry said. And I quote the headline Prince Harry and Meghan's neighbors are sick of hearing about them, according to a local. Barry Maher told the mirror, and I quote, that Harry and Meghan lived on the street, but in a considerably pricier spot. Though nobody around here is exactly living in cardboard boxes. And since we never see them, my family, remember, that's what Barry said. And since we never see them, he says that local tolerance seems to mirror USA tolerance in general. People who like them seem to have an unlimited tolerance, no matter what they do. And everyone else is either unimpressed by the traveling soap opera or is just sick of hearing about them, says Barry Maher. And now Barry Maher has my family spoken about what the tabloid said he said about Harry Megan? And my family, here is what Barry Maher has said, my family. But first of all, look at this clip, please. My family, it's a clip of Harry and Megan's home in my family, Montestone family, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. My family, 
this amazing property sits my family around seven acres seven acres my family that means that harry megan if they were to throw a party here even the neighbors my family if there are any would not be able to hear when you live my family in a seven acre piece of land even the person who is on the other side won't be able to see your face. So then, how can neighbors be sick of Harry Megan if they can't even see them? Barry Maher has confessed that he hasn't even seen Harry Megan there. He hasn't. And don't forget, he's being interviewed by a Yuki tablet called The Mirror. The Mirror, a tabloid that Harry sued on phone hacking and won his case. After he accused the mirror of hacking his phone, Harry won the case and proved that they indeed had hacked his phone. And the mirror was asking someone who has confessed he hasn't even seen Harry Megan there. My family. Questions about Harry Megan. My family. Because basically, the ones who are desperate for stories about Harry Megan are the Wiki media. They are desperate. To also create drama around Harry Megan. So it's unfair to blame Harry Megan for the soap opera because they're not the ones who create it. The ones who do it are Ruki Media. They create the drama. Because also, as you all know, Ruki Media don't report the news, they create the news. So my family, Barry Maher, has been trying to defend himself after he was used to attack Harry Meghan. I think people must come to understand this. Whenever tablets want to interview you and ask questions about Harry Meghan, you know, when they are interviewing you, please, don't say a word. Don't say a word. You know, don't say a word. Because, tell me, tell me again, we keep on seeing people who have spoken to UK tablets coming out to confess they have been misquoted. Oh, you know what? The tablets said the wrong stuff about me. That isn't what I said about Harry Meghan. My family, that is what Barry Maher is now doing. He's defending himself after he was used to attack and smear Harry Megan. Yuki Media bullied and abused Harry Megan to the point that Harry Megan saw no other option but to flee the UK. Harry Megan saw no other option but to flee Britain. And that is what Harry Megan did. They fled the UK. They fled Britain. They never wanted to leave. But they had no choice but to leave. But to flee the UK. Because of the bullying, harassment, and attacks from the racist UK tabloid media. You know, who attacked Megan with the full approval of the firm, meaning William and Charles. You know, that's what they did. And now Harry Megan live in California. UK media want to send people there also. To harass Harry Megan there. Even now, my family, they have a frivolous lawsuit to try and get Harry deported from the US. My family, because they want Harry back so so badly. So so badly. They are desperate to have Harry back, even now by force. In the UK, UK media are telling the public. Of how Harry is so desperate to want to come back to the UK. In the US, UK media are trying to force Harry to leave the US by force. You know, my family, can you see that? Because that's what's happening right now. In the UK, 
They are saying, Harry is yearning to come back to the UK. He is desperate to come back and wait on the raw fold. In the US, UK media are funding Heritage Foundation's case against the Department of Homeland Security, of Homeland Security, as they try to get her deported from the US and back to the UK by force, by force, by force. In the UK, they're saying Harry wants to come back willingly. That is what is happening right now. And UK media are extending the harassment of Harry Meghan to the US. My family, to the US. And we have all seen how that has been like. For example, we also saw how Harry Meghan were pursued by a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi in New York. And UK media outlets were the ones who had photos of Harry Meghan in a taxi as they were trying to evade paparazzi. You know? This harassment that Harry Meghan face, it comes from the UK Tory press who refuse to let Harry Meghan go. And my family, we all must unite and condemn this hounding and harassment of Harry Meghan that has been going on for so long and continues even right now. Whereby anyone is used and weaponized in the UK media's smear campaign against Harry Meghan, in the UK media's bid to also create a toxic environment for Harry Meghan in the US like they did to them in the UK. Because they can't stand seeing Harry Meghan thriving. They can't stand seeing Harry Meghan happy away from them. So what are Ricky Media doing? They're creating a toxic environment for Harry Meghan in the US like they've done to them in the UK. My family, we must not allow Ricky Media to win. We must not. So my family... Allow me to read you what Barry Maher said while defending himself after he was used by UK tablets, you know, to smear Harry Meghan and to harass Harry Meghan. My family, here is what Barry Maher said, my family, about the headlines that came out after he spoke to the mirror about my family Harry Meghan living in... More to tell my family. Kindly please hear this. Now Barry Maher says, and I quote, I am not a celebrity. I am not even sure I qualify as a public figure. But the media used to be my friend. Used, as in past tense. He says, and I quote, that media exposure built my business. Getting me speaking gigs, not just in the US, but in places like Cancun and Ireland, you know, and Oman. It bought me my home in Santa Barbara. Then recently, I did something despicable, apparently, says Barry Maher. My family, here is the despicable thing. Here is the despicable thing that he did to Harry Meghan. My family. My family, please can you hear this? This is very important. My family, you will learn how UK media are the ones who are desperate to get drama around Harry. You will learn that UK media are the ones who are my family desperate to write any kind of negative story about Harry Meghan. My family, hear what Barry Maher says, my family again, and I quote. Harry and Meghan were reportedly moving from the Santa Barbara area and our British reporter, our British reporter, once again, our British reporter, wanted a comment about them 
They wanted a comment about Harry Meghan from someone who has confessed he never ever met Harry Meghan. You know? And then Barry Maher said, I don't know them. <laughs> he doesn't know them. He doesn't know them, but he was used to smear the names of people he never met. My family, that is the entire story of this smear campaign against Megan. It's always people who have never even met Megan who are being used to abuse Megan. Members of the Rota have complained that they were never ever given access to Megan. However, my family, when you see them on TV, it's like they claim to know Megan. But yet, they've confessed that they were never even given access to Megan. Some have only seen Megan once. 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 You know? And that is according to them. That is according to them. They see Megan once. But yet, with how they speak, my father, with how they speak, you will think that my family, they have known Megan her entire life. Clearly, they knew nothing about her. But still, my family, they wrote negative art articles with negative headlines about Megan, about someone that clearly they did not know. But people who do know Megan have come out to defend Megan. Like what happened when the farm, meaning William, accused Megan of bullying. Members of the suits cast, they came out and defended Megan, saying, That isn't Megan. You are lying about her. Megan has never ever been a bully. From people who know her. From people who know her. People who know Megan. Defended Megan, my family, and once again, the person who was so called used as a neighbor, you know, to say that neighbors are sick of Harry Megan, even he confesses he doesn't even know Harry Megan. In fact, he goes so far as to say he doesn't even live close to Harry Megan. My family, please kindly hear this, you know. He says that I don't know them to a UK reporter, a British reporter. He said, and I quote, I live on the road in a cheaper neighborhood. I live down the road in a cheaper neighborhood. But what did the headlines read? Neighbors. Who live close to Harry Megan say that my family, you know, that they are sick of Harry Megan. You know? A neighbor says. But on the other hand, Barry now says he lives in a cheaper neighborhood. So the guy, as I've said, he isn't even Harry's neighbor. He is not. When you live in a seven acre property, you know, my family, when your property sits in a seven acre piece of land, my family, you have no neighbors. You have no neighbors. You have no neighbors. You know? You have no neighbors. And that's a fact. That's a fact, my family. And I'm happy that Barry now admits that first of all, he isn't even a neighbor of Harry Megan. He says he lives in a cheaper neighborhood. He doesn't even live. Close to Harry Megan. But he was used. To paint. The illusion. That neighbors. You know. Who live. Close to Harry Megan. Are sick of them. My family is propaganda. It is propaganda. Meant to brainwash people. Into thinking that a majority of people who live around Harry Meghan basically are not okay with them living there and that they want them to leave. Which isn't the case. The person was asked that 
is one person and he doesn't even live close to her and Megan. He does not. As he says himself, he lives in a cheaper neighborhood. And then Barry also says, this is a quote, I said, since we never see them, local opinion seems to mirror U.S. opinion in general. And that some people seem to like them no matter what. Seem to like them no matter what. Others are unimpressed by soap opera or are just sick of hearing about them. My family, number two, you know, basically on this stuff about soap opera, it is Wikimedia that create the drama, not Harry Meghan. And as you've heard, it is a British reporter who reached out to someone who doesn't even live close to Harry Meghan to ask him questions about Harry Meghan, who the person they were asking doesn't even know them. Don't blame Harry Meghan for the soap opera. Blame the UK tabloids. Blame them. Because they're the ones who don't report the news. They create the news. Because my family, for example, for Megan, in Megan's case, Megan hasn't even mentioned a word about the royal family for more than a year now. But do you see, but actually when, when have Wikimedia media ever stopped talking about her? When? It's never happened. It's never happened. So it's like, some people want to blame Megan for the community's obsession with her. I mean, it's wrong, it's wrong, it's wrong. What people must do, must do is demand that UK tablets stop the hounding, stop the harassment of Megan and leave Megan alone. Let her live in peace. You know? My family, Barry Maher then says this, my family, and they quote, that just my quick take on local sentiments, not particularly perceptive, perceptive, hardly newsworthy, but in the UK it's news. And the first story appeared in the mirror, a UK tabloid, and the headline read, exclusive, Harry Meghan's clothes goes to selling 11 million pound home as neighbors are sick of them. The neighbor in question was one, Barry Maher, me. The only neighbor, the only neighbor in the article, but the word used was neighbors, neighbors, by a UK tabloid that Harry has been able to sue and win in court. My family, as you all know, Harry won his court case against the mirror and proved that they engage in unlawful gathering of information and also phone hacking. You know, and the mirror is harassing Harry, even where he lives right now in Montecito. It's wrong. And this should stop. And Barry says, the distinction between sick of hearing about them and sick of them is the distinction between journalism and whatever this was. <laughs> My family, now Barry Maher has woken up and he's saying what well, we all know, what UK media do, what UK always do, that is not journalism. It isn't journalism. The things they write about Harry Meghan is not journalism. It isn't. You know? And that's a fact. <laughs> he says, whatever that was, that wasn't journalism. You know? And he says, a media outlet called The News International wrote, and I quote, speaking to the mirror, PR and Communication expert Barry Maher, who resides in the same area, revealed Megan and Harry are never seen at 
their property. Of course, they are not seen. It's a seven, you know, the property sits on a seven acre piece of land. There is no way you are going to see them. Harry Meghan chose the property because my family, it is a private property. UK Media won't be able to cut fences to get a glimpse or picture of Archie or Lilibet. They won't be able to do that. They won't. They won't. And no wonder they chose the beautiful mansion in Montecito. You know? Even Barry Maher says this that my family and I quote Harry and Meghan have seven acres. You know? They could be cavorting around property with Anastasia Romanov. You know? Anyone else? And I couldn't be able to see any of it from where I live. Meaning, he knows nothing about Harry Megan. You know? And in the Royal Observer, the neighbors, me, were exhausted by the Royal Antiques. BNN wrote, Barry Maher paints a picture of a Community divided. WP Media reported. Prince Harry Megan's plan. Prince Harry Megan plan. Montes to exit. I mean neighborhood discontent. Again. Just me. And then Barry says. Sorry Megan. And sorry Harry. Please. Don't sell your cozy little home. Because of me. Think of young Archie. And Lilibet. Think of trying to scrape by without 16 bathrooms. As the story traveled, so did my credentials. Sometimes I was simply local resident Barry Maher. Usually I was given some dubious authority. Barry Maher, who regularly appears. On top TV programs, really? Or Barry Maher, a PR and communication whiz. You know, my family, Harry spoke about this in uh, the Harry and Meghan documentary. UK Media, they do this, you know, to lend credibility to what they're saying. You know, that's why they give this guy top names, you know, top, you know, credentials to lend credibility to the story. To make people believe the story is true. Or that neighbors are sick of Harry Meghan. Which is in the case. Which is in the case. My family, it is in the case. UK Media, as I've always said, are trying to create a toxic environment, atmosphere for Harry Meghan in the US. Like they did Harry Meghan back in the UK. My family, they must not be allowed to succeed. They must not be allowed to succeed. They must not. You know? And the role observer, you know, called me role expert Barry Maher. <laughs> I remember Mandana Diani, you know, who worked for Harry Megan, who asked Megan, can anyone be, can anyone just call themselves role expert? And then Megan told Mandana, I think that's my husband should answer that question. And Prince Harry did say that my family, they do that to lend credibility to the story. That's what they that's why they do what they do. To lend credibility to the story. That's why they do what they do. That's why they call someone, anybody really, role expert. Meaning anyone can be a role expert in family. And guess what? I'm also a role expert. Although not a carnival of so-called expert, my family. <laughs> Anyone can become a role expert in my family. Even you can become a role expert in my family. I think you've all seen what has happened to Harry Megan all these years. And all of us can become, you know, role experts. We all can call ourselves that. I mean, everyone can call themselves that, my family. Role expert. You know, as you as my family you've seen really. You know? Barry Maher. Who has never even met Harry Megan. You know, his own words. 
was called and labeled a role expert just to lend the story credibility just to bring with people just to bring with people that people don't want Harry Meghan in Morisito. Just to brainwash people. To believe that. You know? My family, now all of us know the truth. Now we all know the truth. But we always know the truth, really. It's just, you know, a UK media smear campaign against Harry Meghan. And that is how it's always been like. You know? My family, and then Barry Maher says that, and they should know that all observing royals, as they apparently do, by the time their story got to Pakistani TV, Pakistani TV, are you kidding me? I was renowned role expert, ex role expert Barry Maher. By the time the story got to Pakistani TV, I was renowned role expert Barry Maher. <laughs> you know, and then Barry says, All I know about Roti is that we fought a war to get rid of them. You know, obviously, it didn't take, but apparently, if the neighbors get, you know, discontented, though, the royals might just live on their own. And in this case, the neighbors, or as I like to call them, me, were becoming more aggressive. GB UK Royals, with over 140,000 YouTube subscribers, turned my quote into, and a quote, we are sick and tired of you. Neighbors, ask. How they make a three part. In what's up today? Megan and Ari were forced to sell the $11 million home over angry neighbors. Do you see how mis and disinformation my family you know, spreads based on lies written by the key media? My family, the one big threat to the safety of Harry Megan are the UK public media. And they're constant hounding, stalking, harassment of Harry Meghan. And my family, it needs to stop. It needs to stop. And Barry Maher said that the story circled the globe. And the only constants who are Barry Maher and Meghan and Harry, it's almost always Meghan and Harry, seldom Harry Meghan. If you think I'm going to comment on that, you haven't been paying attention attention. You don't need to. You all know why they do what they do. It's misogyny. It's misogyny. And tablets have been misogynistic towards Megan for a very long time. You know? For a very long time. And my family, it needs to stop. And we need to condemn the misogyny of the key media. You know? In the USA, MSN down me from what expert to tablet informant and that probably killed any chance of my alma mater ever naming a library after me or even admitting I went there but it wasn't until social media kicked in that I found out just what a horrible person I truly am and I tried to explain that only made things worse. So, I erased my explanations and just got out of the way. Clearly, the outrage was the point and it fed on itself. Post after post, for days, none of them were favorable. Nobody, you know, issued a threat to my life. Maybe probably would have been sufficient as long as it was severe enough to keep me from ever procreating. And surprisingly, few of those people, all these people, seemed 
to have actually read one of the articles. They simply knew what somebody had posted about the story or what somebody had posted about what somebody had posted. Or what? You get the idea. It was like the telephone game from hell. Social media had turned on me and it was a mob. When it came to pure and adulterated evil, I was second only to the animal photographer who posted that she was looking for a border collie to shoot. So, I'm sorry, Megan. I'm sorry, Harry. I really am. If it's any consolation, I'm getting out of the renowned royal expert business. Royal expert business. Now that articles have begun attributing my remarks to an insider, I feel like I'm practically one of the family, which would be, you know, a fitting punishment to my sins, for my sins. Just don't quote me on that, please, says Barry Maher. To my family. <laughs> my family. Do you see how Harry Meghan, how a lie can spread about Harry Meghan? It spreads so fast. And Harry Meghan get attacked for days, for days, based on a lie spread by who? By a UK tabloid. My family, how is, the role? How, how is this okay? How is this even you know, allowed? How is this acceptable? You know, Harry and Meghan have gone through so much. And I do hope that they, they heal from what they've gone through. Because what they've gone through is a lot. My family. And really what I like about this, what Barry Maher has said, he has confessed about, first of all, what happened to him, and also the evil, unethical, immoral corrupt practices of the UK public media. You know? And he said also, what is seen is not journalism. It isn't. Because UK tablets are unworthy, you know, we have worked in family and call the role experts are unworthy of being called journalists. They are not journalists, my family. They are not. Journalists don't behave so immorally, unethically, like my family, those who work for Wicked Tablets do. And we must all unite to condemn this harassment and smear campaign against Harry Meghan. And clearly, as I've always said, that home that Harry Meghan have, the Turkey media want so desperately for Harry Meghan to sell and move out and just leave from there. Clearly, that home is a symbol of many things. Freedom, security, peace, tranquility, wealth. And UK media are so desperate to see Harry Meghan lose that. You know? No wonder they write so many hit pieces about Harry Meghan's home. No wonder they are so desperate to see Harry Meghan live in that place. Because that place, it, my family represents so much. Peace, wealth, riches, tranquility, security. And UK Media don't like that. You know? When UK Media like the readers that Harry and Megan have failed, people just look at that home, that gorgeous home, and are like, no, 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 they haven't. No, they have not. You know, no, they have not. I even had Carnival of oh, so but calling for Harry Megan to move to a smaller place. That that place that Harry Megan live in, that mansion that they live in, my family it it hurts <laughs> you give me so much to see that that's where Harry Megan live. A beautiful mansion when Harry Megan when they the UK they were staying at Fogmo, a small cottage. Harry and Meghan have upgraded and UK Media can't stand people seeing that. It's a sign of success. That home in itself is a sign of success, my family. It's a sign of success. And no wonder UK Media want Harry and Meghan to lose that so much. To leave that home. Because they can see it's a sign of success, my family. It's a sign of success. Harry and Meghan keeps staying in Montecito. Listen, I know you may want to 
maybe you know go to a place closer to LA. But tell me again, please keep that home. Keep that home. Keep that home, please. You know? And if you ever have to move, move to even a bigger and a bigger place. Because clearly nothing irritates you can be so much than seeing Harry Megan living well. They just can't stand it. Man. They can't stand it. And UK Media won't chase Harry Megan out of the US like they did to them. You know, in the UK. They won't. This time, no. This time, no. This time, no. UK Media must not succeed. In even getting Harry reported, they must not succeed. No. My family tell me your thoughts about what we have just discussed. God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, and also Lily Petana and Doria Raglan, and all of you members who are at home. He never wins. Love wins and stay tuned on this video. Love you also forever and may God bless you, my family. May God bless each and every single one of you, my family. You know, and may God bless you, my family. May God bless you all. And stay tuned to our next video. And may no weapon problem against Harry, Megan, Archie, Ellie Libet ever prosper. My family, tell me that this is about what we have just discussed. Stay tuned. Go on this video. Love you also forever. Hello, members of Zesco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that, I say thank you. Good will always be paid over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like and subscribe. Love you family, always and forever. Sayonara.